What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another MLB DFS video with your boy. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment anything in the comment section to enter your name into the $50 giveaway I do every single week on this channel. Welcome back, everybody, at GreenLightDFS.com. We are going for four wins in a row tonight. Just like that, we're streaking, going for four in a row. Super excited about that. If you want to join the squad at greenlightdfs.com, just head over to the site, grab your package. You'll have the optimals posted. Normally, the optimals are posted about 30 minutes before the slate. Lately, I've been posting about an hour before and then updating before lock if needed. Um, so, yeah, around 30 minutes before, you'll have the optimals on the MLB access page. But until then, you have our personal projections on the optimizer. You can build lines this way. Um, you can look at the member exclusive tools for player props. Uh, we have prop tools over here as well. So, um, yeah, just take advantage, man. Let's get straight into it. I'm not going to keep up too much of y'all's time. We're going to get straight into it, in and out. All right, let's get it. First and foremost, Max Scherzer and Kevin Gausman are the two pitchers I'm liking today. Um, there's a lot of pitching options today, and they're really all studs. Like, if you look at this range right here, they're all 9-5 and above, except for Scherzer. But they're all 9-4 and above. You know what I mean? We have a lot of solid spend-up pitching. That tells me that spending up on these pitchers is probably the way to go on this slate, regardless if we have a game in cores or not. Um, there's a lot of expected offense on this slate, but there's a lot of spots where guys are kind of priced down in great spots that we can kind of take advantage of and still get whatever pitchers we want. So we're not too worried about struggling on bats. Get the hit pitchers that you need. Max Scherzer against Washington at home in New York. Kevin Galsman against the Angels at home in um, Toronto. Great spots for both of these guys. All right. Um, obviously. I mean, you got Galsman facing a Angels team without Mike Trout. Shohei Otani's hurt. We don't even know if he might possibly miss. Who knows? But yeah, that Angel squad is watered down, and uh, it's a good spot for Galsman to rack up the Ks, and he's been doing very, very well this year, so great spot for him. All right, at first base, somebody that sticks out to me is C.J. Crone in this Colorado game, but we're getting him for under 5K. This dude was elite last season at home versus left-handed pitching. Absolutely elite. This year, he's eh. Mid mid range, it's you know kind of eh, but last year he made a splash. So if you look over the longer term, like a bigger sample size, you will see C.J. Cron is an absolute monster at home versus lefties, um, and I definitely would want some exposure to him. There's multiple first basemen I have interest in though. If I want a little bit of money, I'm down to go down to Alex Karoloff at only two seven. Great matchup for him as well. Minnesota values looking really, really good today as well. Um, really like multiple Minnesota guys. And Karoloff at 2-7 really opens up things in the bats as well if you don't want to spend up for Crone. At second base, Andres Yamenez. Yamenez is always a stolen base possibility. He's got the lefty-righty matchup today. Great spot for Yamenez. Cleveland, one of the top projected team totals of the entire day. He's only 4K. So not only do I expect him to do damage with his bat, but on the base pads, I'm expecting him to really do damage against Toussaint. All right, so really, really good spot for Andres Yamenez as well. Now, another value. I'm trying to think of what value. Yeah, another value that sticks out to me today on today's slate is going to be third baseman Suarez, Eugenio Suarez against Arizona. He's got the righty-lefty matchup here on the road. On the road versus lefties over the last two seasons, um, he has been fantastic. Upper 300s in the Woba category, which is elite range. He just hits the ball very, very, very well. Um, and at only 3-2, you're getting an elite level bat in this spot. Um, and once again, as I said, there's solid value bats in the, on the slate today that have great numbers that are in fantastic spots. So Eugenio Suarez really has double home run type of upside in this spot. He really hits lefties fantastic on the road over the last two seasons. So it's a big sample. Really like the spot for Suarez. All right. And a lot of people make the mistake of kind of looking just over one season's worth of sample. The more sample you can get, the more that kind of everything kind of levels out and you can get a real good idea of how a player is in a spot. You don't really want to take recent performance or I mean you can take you can look at like last 7 days or so like last few games or whatever to kind of see if their bat's starting to heat up after a cold spell or something like that but really I like to go over larger samples of data um instead of relying too too much on recent performance so the larger sample that you go off of the more accurate it will be at kind of 
predicting what guys are going to do in the future. So Suarez is a great spot at 3-2. All right. So Scherzer, Galsman, Krohn, Jimenez, and Suarez is the core on DraftKings and still have over 3,500 remaining, almost 3,600 remaining per, per spot. So great spot there. Let's look over at FanDuel. See the prices on these pitchers over here. See what we're working with. Okay. So over on FanDuel, Scherzer's damn near the same price as Galsman, which makes him even better value over on DraftKings. Um, I don't have a ton of interest in Musgrove. Maybe in GPP, sure, but Texas is so good. Like, you saw what happened to, uh, yesterday. I really liked Valdez. Was it Valdez? Yeah, I really liked Valdez yesterday. Um, ended up, luckily, not playing him and saved me some points. But he was a guy that I really had interest in because of how good he had been. He had been so good at home this season and Texas just came in and did damage so I really just don't want to mess with Texas right now it's a team I'm just not interested in um, you know attacking at the moment um, there are a few spots that are interesting to me though and it comes to these two honestly I mean I like Galsman a ton I like Scherzer but I'm gonna go Galsman as my number one overall pitcher it's very close um, but yeah I'm gonna go Galsman over here on FanDuel all right he's better value over here than Scherzer is all right when we look at hitters all right, so let's take a look at hitters. As you can see, Shohei Otani is automatically unchecked when it comes to throwing him, automatically throwing him in optimals because of an injury question mark. Pay attention to him, obviously. That's a big deal. Um, also, I didn't mention him on draft. Mookie Betts is one of my favorite bats of the entire slate today. If you end up having enough value to be able to get Mookie in, uh, I definitely would consider it because Mookie is in a fantastic spot. My God. All right, so you got Ramon Laureano. That sticks out to me in cores, righty-lefty matchup. Over his career, he's done well versus lefties. Now he gets the very good park upgrade. Fantastic spot for him. Um, Andres Jimenez is only 2-8. Fantastic, fantastic spot for him, too. I talked about the stolen base potential with him as well as just his natural ability to, you know, his potential of getting on base, and then he's really going to do damage with that stolen bases. So... Another guy that I want to talk about is Brent Rooker at 3-2. Another core bat that you core's bat that's in a very good spot versus a lefty here. Um, yeah, I'm I'm down to get some of these cores bats over here on FanDuel because their prices are pretty damn low. Um, but yeah, Andres Jimenez is going to be my favorite value at 2-8. And then Loriano and Rooker from that cores game are two guys that also seem like solid value to me. And you still have 3,000 remaining for every player. So if we look at point per salary... You have Yemenez. Ooh, yes. Tyler O'Neill is one of the bats. I'm going to take take him over Rooker. Tyler O'Neill is one of the bats that I absolutely love today, especially over here on FanDuel where he's only 2-5. I'm glad I sorted by point per salary to see this. Tyler O'Neill is one of the best values on this entire slate outside of Yemenez. Yemenez and O'Neill are locked to me over on FanDuel. Maybe even Loriano. These top three guys... Nearly locked to me on FanDuel. So definitely get those guys in. Um, yeah. So that's really what I wanted to make sure I mentioned over here on FanDuel. You've got Gausman as the number one option. As I said, we've got value in the bat. So I don't really think you have to spend down at pitcher. As of right now, I think spending up for pitcher is the most optimal way to go. So Gausman as the pitcher. He's better value over here as well over Scherzer. Jimenez, Loriano, and Tyler O'Neill are just all three guys, elite options today, but priced like scrubs. So we're going to take advantage of that. All right. Thank you guys for joining me as always. Greenlightdfs.com. Join the squad. Going for four in a row today. My prize picks, my personal prize picks were already posted on the MLB Access page. Unfortunately, one of them was already been bumped. Um, so it's very important to get those in as quickly as you can once I announce. I'm sure... All the green light members from this morning were able to get that in, or people who still have active uh, weekly subscriptions or season long people were able to get that in. Hopefully, you were. Um, but yeah, let's get this money today, y'all. Thank you all for joining me. I'm out.